history of S Aced. Stealing your wine. No cap. What's that? Wooden hammer. Stealing your wine, motherfucker. Excellent wine. You've good taste. Est est. Est est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Fiorano. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palate of his. Pomino. Got Pomino over here. Where else? Oh, San Real. San Real. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. The wrong year? Roski. I feel cheated. I don't know, I just want to steal more wine. Hmm, which one? Fuck, this is the one. San Real. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not oh. quite the right year. It wasn't the one. So it's, it's obviously the last one, for God's sake. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okay. Full. This one's full too. This one is full. This one's full too. Full. And of course, it's the one she doesn't fucking. This one's full too. Wait, they're all full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Do this one. Ready. Step aside. What's she gonna do? Just... Oh, she got a cup. <laughs> Where'd she get the cup from? So. Mm, slightly smoky, strongly tannic, definitely son real. Hey, thanks, one. How about that one, my love? Oh, revolting. Bitter plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Aye. Oh, Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. Oh. I, I, I admit it. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? 
I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? Oh dear. I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. You ain't getting no mercy, motherfucker. Who'd you sell the wine to, bitch? Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. She's always disappointed. This man's yeah. name. I literally Never hate her. It. He was tall, <sighs> black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintra in aristocrat at court. Really thought nobody would find out, mate. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, your grace, you must forgive me. How did you deliver it? Wine itself. How do you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. Right, no. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Oh, you fucking peanuts. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Kill him. Do it. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Right now, Bitch. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Aye. Bro, that feels like it's gonna collapse. Relax, now we wait. My boy. Why do I have action? Oh! 
I blew up! Oh, fuck. I went splodies. <laughs> Whoops, as always. Oh, no. Oh! And I crashed! No! God damn it, man. I just... Why? Joke me. Fuck's sake. Joke me. Joke me like you hate me, but you love me. Oh, disappointing. Alright, let's get that. Fucking touching that bar, bro. Hit me. You crossed the wrong man. Hi. Joke me. Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but. Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. I know you were. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. Of course not. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth, and I appreciate it. Sure, chat. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Man's got a bolt in his fucking shoulder. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. Can I just? I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? Sup, bitch? Choke me. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Cracky, no! 
Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! <laughs> Errols, where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Huh? Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. I'll Ought kill to you too, motherfucker. Right now. You kidding me? Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I hey. don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Man, still Gather your men and seek out the Cynthia. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I need a drink. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Uh, let's go. Let's go to town. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. She got asked. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Um... Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find Choice the Cintrian, with her, whether or not he's responsible fucking... for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Uh... Not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. A singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. 
We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Who? What's that? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique, consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Okay. Need to nab the Cintrian. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the okay. question. Oh. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, oui, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's uh, the event going to be uh, sure. The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Okay. Cook. Cook. What? Pawn clothes and a hand can't be considered appropriate for this. Good luck. I hope you get the bastard. I should double the patrols. Oh, baby, I love the way. I need to go to my house first. <laughs> change some of the shit around. What's your wish? A dash of wine and some slap and tickle? No touching until you pay. So mean, the baker. And you draw like a boar sniffing to nipple. A big. Okay. The beast of Beauclair. For the beast of Beauclair. A beast of Don't know which one I want to get rid of. I feel like this one. Oh, that looks kind of sexy. Um, who's Marlene? I do not know how I will ever oh. be paid, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes, yes, of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunker? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet, yeah. after all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, 
to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing would make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now, but to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. Where'd you learn to cook? I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking. Even as a child, my gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Okay. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white? Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. Cool. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. So sweet. The Hunger Game. Pog? Marlene! Please. What sword? to replace. No, I can't remember your sword, I can't. Can he replace that one? How about that? What's that one? Ultimate weapon. What do I have? Everything I don't need in here. Okay, let's put it all in there. Who cares? Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had Careful. the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. 
Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go there. To the little... What can I put here? I don't know. I wasn't told. Look at that white wolf! Jeez! Twenty fucking bottles! Is that one in it? Oh my god, I got so much. If you wear three, killing opponents opponents restores vitality. The amount of vitality restored equals one percent of maximum vitality for each element of the set worn. Oh. Okay. If you say so. Go. Let's go um, do this. The hunger game. I just realised what the name was, bro. I just realised what the name was, bro. What are you doing, step? Hi. Why do I have to be like this? Constantly checking red dots on the map. Mushrooms. It's a pod. Hmm. I want to look around some. Bro, I don't like this. God damn it. This one. Hmm. Nothing 
interesting here. This one. Full. I swear that sounded different. Hmm. Strange. Gold stick of joy. Hmm. That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. Okay. Cool. Oh, is it? Is it, um. Supposed to be, uh. 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 The Golden Joystick Award. Is that what it's supposed to be? Where can I put the decorative shield? I wanna put the decorative shield somewhere though. Can't park me like this. Key required? What the heck? Marlene, do you have a key? I didn't find a key around these parts. Marlene! What the fuck? Marlene, where the fuck is that key, though? Please. Marlene, don't cock me, bro. There's no key. Cannot see the key. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, my boy. What's that over here? Sacks of nothing. Right. Brill. Okay, um I need to like throw myself out. It's pretty shit owl from me. I don't know how to hoot. You like an owl. Um, you are my fire. Why did I believe when I said I want it that way? Some stuff in here that I don't want to lose. So, what can I do with the decorative shield? Is there anything else? Witcher three, Sir Carol. Of Rivia Shield. What can you do with it? Um. Oh, it can be hung like a painting. Ooh. Be hung like a painting. What painting do I want to replace? There we go. Cool. I'm going to start clearing my inventory. Save the Xenobox. 
Don't need a word of resentment. Remembrance. All this I can sell. Holy shot, this is slow. Oh my god. Holy moly. It takes like five seconds. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. Look at these fucking books. Holy shit. That's a lot. Okay. Let's go sell some shit. So whoever will buy it. I laugh. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Leviota. Well, well. Be so kind as. Always. So long. Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. Ah, uh, fuck. Someone else. Need to sell to someone else. Up to any 
night and shout, the beast! Who says the spirit of our beast? The beast! Are the rumors true? Are the Aight. So nice to see- Show me where you're- st All the single stuff. Oh my god. All these fucking books, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Bye. Should be going. Farewell. Um, see very quickly, what do I need for turquoise? Vitriol, what do I need for vitriol? Fucking hornwort. Uh. Well, that's What's up. going on there? No, I told you, there might be treasure, there might not be monsters. Okay. Do this tank. Lepiotis wheezing lungs. Night blasts. Wheezing lungs. No half hearted measures. K. Passa. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Looking for ah, me. Uh, let's try some on me. All jests aside, let me see what I'm mo So I need the. Where the bolt Beauclair stuff in it. Do you mask, do I? That'll be all tracks. Ever your servant, sir. I feel so naked. What? What was that? So confused what happened.
<laughs> Wanna be my man? Oh, Shut up, it's bro. Dark secret states you from a fairy tale. Because I'm lazy. Is there a close fast travel point? Oh, well, there's not. Nice too. Is it though? You mean the. Uh, well, I need a drink. Hang on. I'm thirsty. Joke me, I made a sandwich. Joke me like you hate me, but you love me. Ah, my ass hurts. Quite the fragrant whiff. What is the pheasantry stewing up? Reginald Aldry has returned, oh, not to be missed. Buy your, your tickets now. Seven. Available from me. Hmm, nothing special. Surprise me. have such a sense of style. My, my, Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. <laughs> They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members wear. I've brought you one. Put it on. What is this? My glasses to see. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. How do we find the Sintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Joke me. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora's soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. 
Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has some. A shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm... I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Makes sense. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. A woman Who's in the black dress. Line? There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Koviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. of artists. Careful. It packs a pretty powerful punch. I've built up a pretty powerful resistance. Fine. Let's 
Let's give it a try. Look, never suspected you believed in such things. The Dolphins, that is no ordinary oh. illusion. The man is a true artist. Mm -hmm. Impressive. I'm so confused. Okay. I did all the optional stuff. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah.